Welcome to the Missionary Hut, a programme that looks at the latest sustainable development ideas. I'm Michelle Bryan and I'm on a gap year programme with the NGO Hands On Help For The Poor and I'm based out here in the Missionary Hut. In this episode, we will be looking at the latest in DIY help with an invention sure to save the world town by town. The homemade oxygen mask, the Breathe Easy, also known as an Oxyjohnny, will help revolutionise global healthcare and improve the lives of millions of poor people throughout the world. Back in the UK, our very own Sustainable Living Advice Guru will show us how we can make one of our own. Whether you're a doctor working in a not-so-modern hospital in sub-Saharan Africa, or a traveller likely to end up in some of the world's lesser developed but more beautiful parts, this is sure to come in handy. Professor Cliff Michael at Dottingham University in Nottingham says of the invention, The Breathe Easy oxygen mask is one of the most successful inventions yet. Not only is it a life-changing device for the developing world, but it makes James Watts' iconic steam engine of the Industrial Revolution look like child's play. Hello and welcome to Sustainable Living Made Easy with me, your host, the Sustainable Living Advice Guru, otherwise known as The Slag. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to make an oxygen mask entirely from scratch. This Breathe Easy mask is a development miracle sure to transform global health. Now in the UK, patients who need oxygen are able to get it from a main supply through the wall and a constant supply to their mouths. In more remote regions of the world, this is not possible. They have to use small cylinders, which they carry around with them everywhere, and then they have a little contraption connecting the oxygen from the cylinders into the mouth of the patient. So, when you have these Breathe Easy masks, all you'll need to do is get your mask, put it to your mouth, a few puffs, there you go. Now, to make your oxygen mask, the first thing you need to do is you need to fill your glass jar with lots and lots and lots of life gas. Get a few leaves from the trees um, and pop them into your jar. Now that will make sure you've got a constant supply of oxygen for a very long time. I usually cover the head of the bottle with yet more leaves. I'm going to secure it with some elastic bands and you secure it as I will do now. Make sure it's nice and secure because you really don't want any air escaping through there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our condom and we're going to pop a little straw into it. Obviously you need to open your condom up nice and long. Shit, this is the wrong condom, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our condom. Obviously you need to open it up nice and long, maximum length, and then we're going to pop a straw into it, just like I've done here. Now don't worry if you can't get the whole straw in through the entire length of your condom. At this moment that's not really a problem. Um, and what we're also going to do is we're going to get a second straw, bend it so you can suck through it, and we're going to pierce our leaf lid, which we've created on the top of our oxygen jar, and we're going to pop it in. Now what we're going to do is, in one hand you hold your condom with the straw, in the other you're holding the straw into your oxygen jar, and I'm going to inhale from my oxygen jar and exhale the oxygen into my condom. So, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to secure the head of the condom around the straw. I'm going to get quite a generous piece here. I know that I can't, this condom's only small and the, and the straw is only tiny, but you will need quite a bit because of the sliminess of the condom. And I'm going to stick it right round to make sure there are no gaps left where the air can escape. Okay, this stupid f doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's not working. You know what? I, I mean, if you do this properly, I can tell you these gas masks can last you for a very long time and, and, and you can use them for other things. Now, I'm going to hold my uh, condom mask contraption at the head of the condom opening and I'm going to take one last breath from my oxygen jar, blow it into here to make it really big, a bit like they do in this part of the world. Now if you're wondering if there's a special technique to this, the answer is yes. Keep blowing until it gets big. So 
So here you have your very own homemade oxygen mask, cheap as chips. Now I know what you must be thinking, where's the elastic band to fasten your mask around your head so you get a constant supply? Well the truth is, it's only a small condom, you don't have very much in there, but you have enough. That's the trick, you have enough and you don't need to use it all of the time. The truth is patients only need oxygen when they're breathing in, a bit like scuba diving. Now if the old lungs are getting greedy and tired, what you can do is you can suck on three oxygen masks at the same time. Mmm, oxygeny. I think the oxygen mask is the truest embodiment of self-help. I mean, who needs a hospital and even a doctor when you have one of these? or even two or three. Now, as you know, in Africa and India, condoms are plentiful. They're widely available thanks to the NGOs. So there's no excuse for not having these in Africa and India, really. And I'm afraid that's all we have time for. So put your condom to... Look. And I'm afraid... Th no. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for. So put your condoms to good use and live a little. Out here in the Missionary Hut, we've met literally thousands of men, women and children who have put their free condoms to very good use. In fact, the Oxyjohnny is a common sight here on the streets. Kids here suck on it all the time. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for now, but please do join us next time on the Missionary Hut for more on the latest and best sustainable development ideas. I'm Michelle, and until next time, bye!